What's up, YouTube? This is Trey A. Got another walkthrough for y'all. How Sebastian's uh, game that dropped like, last week. Sometimes I didn't get to get to it, so here we go, man. Man, I've been expecting this game for a little bit. Oh. Silence! Your words are meaningless here. Your blood will pay the debt our king demands. Your sacrifice will lift his curse from our land. General Bellato, forgive me, my lord. The king demands your urgent presence. The gods smile on you. For now. Take this one back to his cell. I'll deal with him later. You're in luck, Gutian. Luck? No, no luck for these dogs. General, we should leave this place. The king, his madness threatens to swallow us all. This temple is cursed. I'd rather die in this cursed house than perish to the plague and famine out there. We have our orders, Captain. Moon God sent you to destroy my kingdom. I know it, girl. I see everything. Look around you. Is this hall not famous enough for my mistakes? Do the gods not bask in its glory? The Gutians are coming, General. The Moon God sends an army to destroy us. I shall muster our forces immediately. Good. And what news from below? There are hundreds of prisoners, my king. Their sacrifice will take time. Time is no longer in our hands. No matter. The blood of this army will nourish the sands. The sacrifice will be fulfilled. Starting with this one. <laughs> Tell me, General. Does she remind you of anyone? My king? Do you not see a hint of your own daughter in her? What age would she have been now? Eighteen. Eighteen? Hmm. What a tragedy this plague has been. Kill her. Man, this is crazy, bro. My king? Would it not be wise to keep the girl alive? She's an enemy scout. We could learn the Gutian's plans. No. Every drop of blood brings us closer to salvation. She must die. Come on, baby. Ooh. 
That's tough. to this game gods give me strength Cursed. Our king has cursed us all. We thought you were the demons. 
the temple at Kippur. He builds this temple to call for forgiveness. But the gods don't listen. And now he too is silent. Even my daughter's death couldn't wake me to the truth. I followed a fool into the abyss. They let his ruin become ours. This is your temple. What can we do? There is a way out through the catacomb. Think I should trust you? You have no choice. I've told you. Scare shit again, bro. Man, this got me nervous. Just a rat. All right, bro. Now, old death. For nothing. They died in vain for a mad king. Okay. This is light source. I'm shining right here, let's see what it is. Cursed, pounding cursed, okay. I'm gonna open that just yet, I'm just looking around and see. Is anything else? Okay, there's something right here too. Cool. We are cursed by our own actions. Why did your king create the temple? Same story that history has taught us. For gold, for glory. Might for be hidden information. I don't think it's nothing hidden. That might be good for that. for that. Alright, we're gonna go back to the door. Here, help me with this. You 
first. We're safe down here. You first. What is this that adorns you? The history of Gutian. You are guardians fought hard to destroy our people. But mark my words. Our story has just begun. How do we get out of here alive? The enemy of my enemy... ...is a friend. We help each other. There is always hope. Yes. What was that? Man, it does not see it. It does not see it well with me at all, man. Sure, there's nothing between these cracks or nothing. Let's see shit. All right. Over here. Is that man? A guardian. There's no escape. Our only hope is to stand together. No. If we both run, then we both die. Ready your sword. I think either way they're gonna die regardless. Uh, why not fight? Almost missed it. Man. Almost missed that shit twice. What is that? Copyright purposes. This music might be copyrighted. But then, you know, it's like crew rates, all right? So I'm like a crew rater.
teeter on the edge of an abyss. Your survival. Okay, bro. I could have sworn I turned the survival. Oh man, I got a minimum. Man. Oh, okay, cool. Depends on the choices you make. They will be as a compass guiding you through the unknown. Will you find the path to salvation or be lost in the darkness? Let me speak plainly. You're about to make some difficult decisions. Decisions that will affect the lives of others. How those decisions play out will become clear over time. I expect you're wondering who I am and where you are. I am the curator, the custodian of tales. My purpose is to keep a record of everything you do, every decision or mistake you make. For sure. This is my repository. It's filled with untold stories. Stories about friends and enemies. Loyalty and betrayal. Life. And death. Understand that I am not here to help you. Although, I have been known to bend the rules time to time. To descend into the unknown alone is extremely brave. Or extremely foolish. Perhaps there is more to you than meets the eye. Let me give you a few words of advice. Throughout the story you will encounter certain pictures Pictures which allude to possible outcomes. I suggest you pay attention to their meaning. It could foreshadow a future best avoided. But alas, the sands of time have run out for us. We'll meet again soon to see how you fail. Or fail. Thousand three. Day son. Confident. Colonel, your trip. Very keen, restful, and secure. Cool. Not particularly. Welcome to Camp Slayer. You're early. Apologies for arriving early, Lieutenant. Things are moving fast. I hear you, Colonel. We're glad to have you on board. Techs are ready for your presentation. As soon as we get word from the CEO, we're good to go. You should read this. Can you hear? There's a new king in the castle. Looks that way. You are? This is my assistant, Clarice Stokes. Dr. Clarice Stokes. Kolchak. First lieutenant, Kolchak. Well, the briefing room? Wait a minute. Come on. What's up, Marine? She really, she, she ugly as fuck. Commanding, press, fuck it, Rachel King. Nick K. Vincent and Romance. Of course, the black dude gotta be romantic. You gonna get his self killed. Fuck with you. After what happened at the check, I'm gonna say it. <laughs> thought I was done. These last few weeks, you've you've lifted me up. Cool, bro. I don't know where I'd be without you.
Rachel King? Colonel King has arrived on base, ma'am. He's en route to the briefing room. I'll be there in five. Fuck, it's him. He's early. Your husband, you mean? Oh, oh yeah, sure live. That's tough. Put your clothes back on. Straighten up. I mean, Rachel, are you going to tell him about us or what? You and Eric have been apart for a year. Whatever you had, it, it's got to be over. Come on. Maybe I just don't think this is the right time. That's bullshit. There's never a right time. Soon, Nick. I promise. Soon. Oh man, it's gonna, this is not gonna be well. This whole game is gonna give me a fucking. What the fuck was that loading screen? This damn game gonna give me a fucking headache. To excuse the noise and disorder. We're just getting the base set up. Hmm. Blows my mind. Only a few weeks ago, Saddam was living it up in here. <laughs> Chowing down in candy bars while some poor bastard clipped his toenails. Nice image. Uh, if only you could see the state of this place now. Makes me smile. <laughs> we got the CIA. We got the Army, the Marines, DIA, the Air Force. Hey, everyone's invited. Everyone wants a piece of history. God bless America. So it's this music, man. Keep busting out those reps. Hey, you come join me. Maybe I'll teach you a thing or two. Later. We have company. Yeah, well, you miss here would like to watch me get my sweat on. You wanna spot me, little lady? I see you just fine from here, thanks. Ignore Corporal Merwin, he likes social skills. Uh, I guess every unit has its resident jackass. Sergeant K. This is Lieutenant Colonel Kane. Just taking him down to the briefing room. Yeah, gotta go get prepped. I'll see you in there, Marine. So what's his malfunction? Nick ain't been himself lately. We got caught up in a shooting a few weeks back. Civilian ate a bullet. Nick took it hard. Is he combat ready? He's a big boy, sir. He's ready. Damn, Joey, they got you sitting behind a desk? You want me to make a call? Nah, I'm all good. People who sit behind desks don't tend to catch so many bullets, you know? So this must be uh, the one and only satellite guy. <laughs> the one and only satellite guy. I'm Eric King. Lieutenant Colonel Eric King. Give the Colonel full sight access. I'm telling you, when the queen bitch finds out about this, she's gonna flip her shit. Rachel and I, we know each other. She'll understand all's fair in love and war. Sir? The queen bitch you're referring to is his wife. Nice work, hot shot. Tough. Sir, I'm so sorry. Rachel never said she was married. We've been working apart this last year. So she's the queen bitch now. She's gone up in the world. If it helps, we like to think of it as a term of endearment.
Brett, let's get you set up. I hope the bandwidth can cope with the data. I'll leave the techie stuff to you. And I'll leave the heavy lifting to you. We got a deal, lady. What is this place, anyway? Looks like an old ballroom. Oh, That's exactly what it is. I guess you damn like to get down on the dance floor. Okay. If his dance partner stepped on his foot, it'd be an instant. Off with her head. <laughs> uh, wouldn't surprise me. There's a lot of shit in here I can look at. Let you spin me around a little. As long as you don't step on my foot. Just come in prison or bush something. Damn it. This is King. Eric, this is my team. And if you want to brief them, you clear it with me first. I should have warned you I was moving the briefing forward. That's on me. But things escalated, I had to move fast. I have a duty to my team to stay ahead of the curve. I understand, Rachel, but CENTCOM has given their orders. Orders? I'm now commanding officer. I didn't mean for you to find out like this. Truly. I'm sorry, Rach. Somehow I doubt that very much. This is from Sock Central. It confirms that Lieutenant Colonel King has assumed control of this operation. I'm gonna need access to your network. I'll patch you through. Name? Dr. Stokes. You can call me Clarice. Dr. Stokes, please prepare the presentation. You found something? Yeah, brief room on 1500 hours. So that would be 3 o'clock. fuck is that? Modern art or something? This is footage from the highly classified Kalis program. That's supposed to mean something to me. It's a thermal satellite system that I personally pioneered. Oh, well, I'm impressed. Please, pioneer away. You behave like this in all your briefings, Corporal? Boys are just eager to catch a break, sir. No harm meant. Very well. Satellite sweeps of the war zone have uncovered what appears to be an underground storage facility. This will, of course, require further investigation, but I strongly suspect it's where Saddam's chemical weapons are hidden. We got you, you son of a bitch. CENTCOM has given the green light to raid the facility and seize any weapons on site. Hostilities may be over, but there are holdout groups of Republican Guard all over the country. They could deploy those weapons at any time, so we need to move fast. The Army is giving us a ride out there on their helos. On arrival, Lieutenant Kolchak will lead the raid on the facility. Once it's secured, we'll carry out a full weapons inspection. Now listen up. There's been a change of leadership, but Rachel's operational expertise and local knowledge is just as valuable as ever. She'll be flying with us, and I want you all to show her the same respect. Any questions? What the fuck are we waiting for? I'm ready. That's tribal territory out there, Colonel. Make no mistake, those people are feral. I take it we're getting their support? Nah, too many birds can bring them down on us. We move fast in, fast out. Yeah, that's pretty much what your mama said to me. Hey, careful, boy. All right, bro. If I didn't pull out so fast, it could have been your papi. All right, that's enough, Merwin. Sir, what's your call? We keep this thing small. If it goes south, I'll pull the plug and we can bug out. With all due respect, I think that's the wrong call. With all due respect, Lieutenant Kolchak, it's not your decision to make. This feel right to you? Merwin has a point. If we spin up too many helos, we'll increase our chance of being spotted. Any concerns, see me after the briefing. We go dark until weapons are secured. If we don't break radio sounds within 24 hours, CENTCOM will mount a rescue operation. A lot of shit can go down in 24 hours. I'll quit being a bitch. I'm just saying, that's all. 
This is why we went to war. This is what gets us out of bed every morning. Make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen, this is how we stop Saddam from using these weapons. Be ready in one hour. Dismissed. I think that was the right call, though. The but I, I have no choppers coming in. It's kind of weird. This don't feel right. I'm getting this tingle down the back of my neck. Oh, sweetie. Look, good rub down will sort that right out, huh? I'm serious. I've got a real bad feeling about this. That's what you get from spending too much time with Eric. Is there anything you can do? I'm going to download the latest satellite data. You can have some alone time with him. Thank you, Clarice. Eric, we need to talk. There's something I have to tell you. You should know. It wasn't my decision to take over your operation. Rach, this is it? Everything I've worked on these past years, it's ready. This is the big break we've been waiting for. This isn't about us, Eric. I just want things to go back to the way they were. How we left it, things weren't so great between us. We've been through worse. A lot worse. Yeah, but she meant fucking some other dude, Nothing too. Nothing's changed, Eric. You know that. You and I, there is no you and I. It's over. Please, Rach, don't say that. You're not wearing your wedding ring. Hey, be careful with that. Oh shit, sorry. What you got in that box of tricks anyway? What the fuck is that? Ultraviolet light. UV light, baby. Sweet for explosives. Let me have a go. No. How much longer for that download, Clarice? I need it ASAP. It's five minutes ASAP enough for you? Downloading data now. Good. I'll check the satellite maps. Not the greatest bandwidth. We work with what we have. Can you sign this 1348? Huh? Equipment release form. Can you? Oh, sure. Check all equipment, then check it again. Yeah, I hear you. Okay, I still got stuff. Wait for the download speed to the team, inspect the brief. Uh, hey. You hear what I said? Yeah. IX, flashbacks, white balls. Yeah, I heard it. Good. Stay I think I looked at that and this before that cutscene happened. Okay. What the hell do we need this crap for? We need to be mobile. We need to be prepared. The facility is underground, possibly under construction. It's safer this way. You want me to feel safe? You give me some more shooters. So, you're my technician. I've heard about you. I should fucking hope so. I'm here to keep our gear in check. And if any Iraqis pop their heads up, I'll take them clean fucking off. You seem pretty confident, Corporal. If you need any assistance with the climbing gear, I'm here to help. Sure, I'll manage, Colonel. Climbing gear. Fucking pencil pusher. 
Everybody being a dick. Alright, bro. Let me look at this board. Saudi Arabia. Arabia. Syria, Turkey. Nothing over here. Anything okay, what's this? Grenades, right? White bullet, grenade bullets, right? Is this what I think it is? WP, sir. White phosphorus? It's just for popping smoke. That's all. These are only to be used for cover. Understood? Understood. After all, Saddam is the one who's breaking weapons conventions. Not us. I don't know if I liked the decision I just made, but you have to run with that. Who the fuck, Saddam? Think we'll bag chemical Ali at this facility? He's in the vicinity, we'll get him. <laughs> that almost makes it worth the risk. Almost. Well, you know, I'd still rather be sitting behind a desk. Sir, I've heard some fucked up stories about the border. You sure you don't want air support? There's a chance we'll need him. We have the element of surprise on our side. I will not allow anything to jeopardize that. Please, Colonel. Can we take a step back and think about this for a minute? I've made my decision. You feeling lucky, Lance Corporal? Well, my parents owned a horse named Lucky. He ran away. Bet the farm on this. I have a good feeling we're gonna clear up. I wish I shared your optimism, Colonel. I don't know, I probably should have went with the helicopter, but man, I just feel like gonna be a bad choice to go with. What the fuck is doing all this whistle? Shit's weird. Alright. Alright, look at that. I think that's it, right? What the fuck is it left to do? Okay, oh, I just completed now. Cool. Downloads complete. Let's get to the helos. What? What? You want to ask me something? I can tell by that look on your face. What do you think of him? I take it you're talking about the skipper. He's a nice guy. Around here, nice don't cut it. What do you think of him? Like he's got something else on his mind. So, Salam, or Salim. Stubborn. Purchase. Zane, and a gate. Zane. Is there this room? What's this? I gate. And the board has approved the application for admission to I gate University of Rheumatology in the academic year 2003 4, which commences on um, September 2nd, 2003. This offer is conditional upon your agreement to fulfill the following requirements. I'm not reading all that shit. 
That's where he came in at. Thirst or room? What you mean, room? My nigga, it ain't. Oh, what the fuck? I know it was a hallway right here. Trip. What a toilet is. It's a bathroom, right? Nah, it's just a washer, though. It could be a bathroom, but. Man, this camera close as shit, it's throwing me off. I'm trying to find a see if there's anything. Shit, alright, let's go check his room out. Zane? Yeah, I'm not reading that. Cool. Um, yeah, I want to read it. Y'all can just pause it. سليم 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 جاركون ابو زين طبعا رجعت ايوه رجعت هو زين مع مع هو زين مع ابنك طارق ايوه طارق هما مع بعض راحوا ياخدوا الاتوبيس بقى لهم ساعه كله بخير لا لا كله تمام اصل كان عيد ميلاده وانا جبت له هدية هدية كويسة اه لما يرجع ابعتهولي حالا ما اقدرش اقول امتى هيجوا انت عارف الولاد اي وقت ابعتهولي لو سمحت طبعا لا 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 يا ديني دلوقتي كابتن بصري اهلا انا ملاز لازم اتحرك على طول انت بتقول ايه سعادتك العدو جاي يا سليم العدو جاي علينا دلوقتي العدو يا فندم الحرب خلصت خلاص وخسرنا لا ده كلام فارغ محدش السلم العدو جاي ودي ارضنا واحنا لازم نتعرب ليها شايفينهم مطلوب تاكيد يلا شوف جايين علينا بقول لك احنا محتاجين كل راجل في مكانه لاحسن طايرتهم توصل عندنا ما اقدرش اعمل ده يا فندم ابني محتاجني ده امر يا جندي مش طلب ده واجب عليك فهمت خلاص يا دار دي اخر مهمة
Roger that. Tango Mike, it's over. We'll see you on the other side. All call signs, silence, silence, silence. Coyote 2, out. Is it the first that they leave you got? Hey, Marwin. What's your mama and the Bermuda Triangle have in common? Why are you fucking it like? They both swallow Marines. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good, boy. Hey, look. Your mama's so nasty. I called her for phone sex, and now I got a fucking ear infection. Well, damn. How long have you been sitting on that one? Oh, yeah, you like that? I got a shit ton more of those bad boys lined up. Yeah, that's what your mama said. You two want to cut the bullshit and focus on the mission? Hey, only one place I let a woman boss me around like that, all right? And that's between the sheets. I'm surprised your mom lets women into your bedroom. Don't want her getting jealous now. Damn, Rachel. <laughs> hey, the fuck y'all laughing at? Sergeant K, I need you to establish contact with the AWAC CP on four hour intervals. Sergeant K, are you with me? Yeah, I got it. Contact CP every four hours. Hey, whatever's going on in there, compartmentalize that shit. I need you here with me. Can I count on you? I'll ask you one more time. Can I count on you? Yeah, I got you. They're here in the game, Nick. I got your back, Nikki. No matter what. I know it. Make sure you do. Semper five. Semper five. Semper five? What's that? Some kind of Boy Scout thing? It's a Marine thing. It means always loyal. So what? It's supposed to be lucky? Marines have a boatload of superstitions. Hit me with one. All right, check it out. They say to never look back when you're disembarking the helo. Otherwise, you curse the whole team. That's got to be about the stupidest thing I have ever heard. Yeah, well, maybe. But as I see it, why take a chance? Eyes forward at all times. You look backwards in a war zone. It's no wonder you get your ass shot off. We're good to go, Marines. It's what we were sent here to do, and may God be my witness. We're gonna succeed. Amen to that, brother. Hoorah! 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 Sorry about that weird transition, my computer fucking stopped recording my video. American, El Asakir, El American, go! Sir, we've been made! Awaiting orders! Ben out and hold fire. We're gonna psyops this shit.
clear. All bound is secure. Prisoners are playing ball. Roger. Get Corporal Merwin to pop yellow smoke at the LC and bring in the Colonel. Yeah, right there, people. We're just gonna stop it right there for this episode. Uh, if you like, you know, if you're enjoying it, you know, just leave me a like, you know, comment. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.